Hello and welcome back to the Game Shampoo Let's Play of Nights into Dreams. I'm Doug Zyda Rose, and today we move on to Clarice's last level, Soft Museum. Now, um, you know, most of the time I'm talking about the various elements of the game. This time I'm going to talk more about this level, and maybe talk a little about you know, the actual history of me in this game. Okay. So, I definitely want to talk about this level because, you know, unlike many others, its ground is really unique. You know, you, as you can plainly see, I'm flying around and the ground actually rescinds, you know, it pushes down where I am. It's, you know, it's a very visually distinct level, I'll say that. But also, it's one of the ones I really like to play. Well, it's just fun to run through, and it's not even that hard, honestly. I mean, difficulty-wise, it's fairly easy. At least the first couple of mares. It does get notably more challenging after a while. <laughs> yeah, take... Oh, yeah. Here I actually run the course largely backwards. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, well, I'll save that for later. I have things to know about... But no, we haven't really gotten to the point where they're relevant. So, Soft Museum. Now, now, naturally I do a little bit of research on these things just to make sure that I've got plenty to say. So, this... This is kind of interesting in that the level itself is reported that... that this is Claris growing. And, you know, she's trying not to run away. She's embracing in her maturity. Hey, no. Let's see. The, apparently the boss, Jackal, represents growth itself, while the museum, for whatever reason, represents maturity. Probably because, you know, it's like a place you go to learn. And, you know, it's kind of... Uh, yeah. Museums are archived, and they're very awesome, too. Let me say that. I don't go to museums near enough. But that's neither here nor there. <sighs> here we are, second mayor. Here's where things start getting a touch more interesting. Also, I kind of play around a little. Well, because... Well, I can, and Knights is one of those games where it pays to experiment. Mind you, first take your time and get familiar with how things work. Now, it's good to know the rules before you start breaking them. Now, this section actually, on the note of rules, has something interesting. You'll notice when I smash, you know, when I smack into the ceiling, there's that kind of clicking sound. Now, while that's going on, gravity gets, well, a little weird. It's harder for me to move during that stretch. Now, uh, the playing this on the PS3 offers a lot of advantages, namely the controls are probably on par, if not uh, second to uh, the controls that it had on Saturn. Those are some good controls. On the note of controlling nights and the Saturn, if you want to play this game on the Saturn, for the love of God, get Hit the controller which was made specifically for this game. I played and beat this game once or twice with the default Saturn controller. Uh, by the second or third dream, my left thumb was sincerely killing me. There was just too much I had to do. It really wears on it, let me tell you. Now, I've been playing games for a very, very long time. I'm used to at least some of the wear and tear. But, <laughs> now, pulling off these kinds of maneuvers with a D-pad is crazy, and I recommend against it. And also, I kind of forgot where the chips were when I was doing this portion. Lesson, pay attention to what you are doing. Mind you, I still got 
over 20, so it doesn't matter that much. Oh, oh, I was misreading that. <laughs> I'm like, wait, there's no way one of those little tickers where I gotta collect things is going to be freaking sitting at 80. Well, a couple of them do sit into the 20s, but that's in some more interesting cases and more controlled circumstance. Also, uh, no, no, it becomes slightly more prominent here, but, yeah, two knights forms a little more fluid. Uh, like when I was in the museum and getting bounced between those two platforms, no, knights would puff out to, I guess, cushion things? I'm not really sure. But, yeah, that's a thing that happens. Okay. Uh, just about done with the third mare. I'm in bonus time. I'm mucking around with paraloops. Now I'm out of time. Fourth mare. Let's go. Uh, always the fourth mare tends to be the most difficult. Oh, wait, wait. Do I. Yeah, let's punch through. Uh, s drill dashing. Ooh, oh, hey, saving grace. That's about the only way you can make it through the spiky brain without getting hurt and losing time. Ah, okay, here, here this serves as a quick little lesson. You know, you see stuff in the mirror, but you don't see it directly in front of you. Stuff that's in the mirror is still there. No, you just don't see it, you know, in front in terms of that. Uh, relationship tonight. It's still there. It's still in the place that you perceive it to be. It's just... yeah. Ah, <sighs> that part is funky. I want to know. That part is kind of funky. Alright, hit the idea capture. This time begins. I got about 60 seconds. There we go. Take care of those two. Oh yeah, that's... and I muck up on that ring. How can I muck up on that ring? Well, you know, the good days and bad days, that's just how it is. So, 30 seconds on the clock, I know I don't have enough time to make it through here unless I, like, drill dash the whole time. Ooh, that's a problem. Uh, yeah, drill dashing all the way through. It does work. It works well. It is a problem. Oh, I have my, my dash meter. It, she's pretty much drained, and I'm going into a boss fight. That's bad. That's bad. Let's make some work. Okay, B is good. Okay. Ah, here we are. Jackal, who's chucking razor-sharp cards at me. That's Jackal's attack. Throw the cards. I found using controlled dashes up and down is a really good way to dodge it. Now. Jackal is kind of an interesting boss. You can only hurt it when it's separated from its cape. Now, while it's attached to the cape, you need to dodge around its cards. Cards as best you can. And then you know, grab it and dash. Some people say that Jackal is the closest we have to a uh, first level Nightmarian who's still second. But Eh, we'll see. Ah, uh, alright. Last hit. Well, once again, thank you for uh, checking out this Let's Play. Certainly hope you enjoyed it. Uh, now, the next one will be coming out Monday. Enjoy the weekend, and, and uh, happy holidays.